Hi, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Thanks. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In the last video we created the navigation bar with uh, two nav links elements and today we create this uh, hero section here with the submit your domain button and after that we probably will create a submission form as well. Okay, so here we are at the moment. Now we create this uh, hero section. So as you can see on the final project we have two columns, two equal columns. One of them is containing our main text, the subtext and our call to action button and on the right hand side we have this uh, image to our website. So that's what we need to create in uh, Bootstrap 4. Right, so our main page is located in the resources folder views and welcome.blade.php so in this section we need a container, div of container. Uh, if you don't know I use uh, emit in the VS code as an extension. So for example if I type div.container and press uh, tab you, you will see a div with a, a class of container. Okay so inside this container we need the row. So we need to type in div.row and inside this row we need two columns, uh, equal columns. So I need div with a class of sol6 and I need two of these uh, divs. So that's it. I hit tab and you, as you can see I have two divs with uh, class of soul uh, 6. So let's create the second div. It will contain our main image. And I want inside this div another div which is going to be a dflex div. So I want a div with a class of dflex and I want the content uh, justified to the end so and I uh, and and I also want another div uh, which is gonna line our image into the center so align items to center and hit tab and I have all these classes and the next one is the image img hit tab so I already placed my um, image for this uh, inside the public folder I created the img folder and I placed my image inside there so I need to call a Laravel function here or helper so this assets means I pointing to my public folder and inside my public folder I want to call the img folder and my file name is backlink slash img dot png and let's call it uh, main image of my page, it doesn't matter. It does matter in uh, terms of uh, SEO, so whatever you type in here, it's uh, it matters for SEO purposes. Okay, and let's jump back to the to the left hand side of the hero section. So if we check what we, what we have done so far, we need to save it and check what we have done. If we reload, we have an error which is a set I have a typo here. 
again. It's only a set, not a set. Hopefully it works this time. Let's see. Yes, it is. We need some uh, padding on the top. So let's uh, give the image some extra classes to position it uh, much better. Right, so I want this image to be 100 with any time, so it will be responsive. And I want to give some uh, padding on the top, so PY uh, padding uh, top and the bottom, so PY 5. And I also want to the, give some padding on the left side, so PL, which means padding left, 5, which is a bootstrap uh, class. And uh, Let's save it and see how it is changed on the front end. So probably we need to, what, what, what I expect is uh, it's been pushing down a little bit and pushing into this side as well. And exactly as you can see, uh, because of the W100, it's uh, been uh, upscaled. Is being pushed down and is being pushed to the left side as well. Right, we need to add this uh, main sentence and the sub sentence as well and the call to action button as well. So as you can see these are in each row in this uh, left side uh, column Right, so I need to add some extra classes to this left side, which is dflex, flex column, and I want the content to be justified to the center, so, right, so all I added is dflex, flex column, and justify file content center. Now I can my add separate divs. Basically I need three divs. Time free. Hit tab. This will be the main uh, sentence, the sub sentence and the call to action button. Okay, so I will copy the paste the text from the final uh, page. So I had to copy and paste this text. Control C and and I place my subtext in the H4 tags. I will copy and paste it again to speed this uh, tutorial up. Okay, so how it is looks like now. Let's save it and see what have we done so far. Okay, so we have the main sentence and the sub sentence. I create the call to action button now and we will position them. Okay, and I will place this button inside. Um, it's basically a link. So I create a link tag here and I give it a class, bootstrap classes, like btn and btn primary. And I give a title of this button, submit. Okay, and later on we will talk about this href text as well. But for now it uh, must be enough, so let's check what have we done. Let's save it and see the final on the main page. Let's refresh. Okay, 
Right, so let's space this out a bit. Okay, so first of all we need to space out the uh, main heading. So I will give a class of py free and also I grab this SEO because I want to color it differently. To do that I need to give a spam element. So I created a span element. I grab this SEO, paste inside the span element. I give a class of it. It will be text main color. I will style it later on soon. Let's go to the second one. Probably I leave the second one as it is and I give some class to the last element. That will be py5 and let's, let's see what have we done. But before we see it, uh, let's uh, style this text main color. So I'm going to, to the SAS folder and inside the style.scss I will style this uh, text main color. So the text main color is the color of uh, our call to action. So all we need to do is uh, copy and paste. Let's save it and let's see what have we done so far. Hit refresh. Okay, so we spaced out a little bit. We de definitely don't have the effect on the SEO. Let's check what the problem is. So text main mm -hmm. color. So hopefully the typo was the problem. Okay, there must be some extra problem as well. Okay, what is the... What is the... Ah, oh, I haven't... I haven't give this uh, class to the span. So copy, paste it here, and now it must be similar to the finder project. Yes, it is. Okay, and we also have this uh, category stack. Okay, so after this row section, we create another div with some classes. The first class will be the flex. The second class will be justify content center. Okay, and hit tab. And inside this tab, we will create H2 tag and uh, this will be the categories and to this h2 we will give some uh, a border font or font weight border okay let's save it and see what have we done so far Okay, so we have the categories text as well. You can uh, space it out even more if you want to. And as far as I can see, it's a bit bigger text in the final project. In the next episode, we will jump to the submit your button page. How to create this uh, Vue.js uh, submission form. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and bye.